So I wanted to do a quick review on the Orpaz Defense Thumb Break Retention Level. It's a level 2 retention holster. Uh, this is the bag it came in. Pretty simple stuff. Shows you all the accessories and other stuff they have to offer. Um, this is what I was using before. It's a uh, Blade Tech. It's a Glock 19 holster. It's just a level 1 retention and uh, the P10C will actually fit in it, uh, like a lot of people know about that, that it was kind of designed to compete against the Glock 19, so it'll fit in those. But I wanted a little more retention, and this is more of a, uh, you know, a synthetic polymer that almost matches the gun, so I think that's a lot cooler than this almost a leathery looking kydex that they picked here and uh, you know what you have here <coughs> sorry doing this with one hand you have the thumb brake which is really cool you can see the mechanism how it operates and then you have level one retention here you can adjust this screw and I just test that by you know pressing the thumb brake down and pulling on it and uh, you just kind of test it for your usage I don't with this thumb break I don't want it to be super tight when I pull it out I just want it to come right out so it's pretty loose <laughs> comes right out um, highly recommend this this is really awesome of course it is kind of stylized like latex paddle and a lot of the other paddles but if you don't mind not having a light like that was the problem for me I was hung up on all the custom holsters and I wanted to run my Olight on it but you know there isn't a lot of options out there and Safari Land is expensive and backed up but here's the other thing if you have a red dot mount which I think I'm gonna get a slide cut for or just buy the uh, optic uh, version and just uh, swap slides here because I really like this ambi mag button, and the new ones don't have that. Um, it looks like you have plenty of room here for a red dot. Uh, and if not, you could shave all this down, and it probably wouldn't affect the mechanism at all. And, uh, of course, you can run probably a lot higher sights there. If only we could just get this with a light anyways cool holster very affordable i think it was like 35 bucks can't beat it